Strike. Their own statements before, during, and after the attack make clear the attack was done for Donald Trump at his instructions and to fulfill his wishes. And we are listening to Trump. We need to exercise our common sense about what happened. Lead impeachment manager Jamie Raskin claimed Trump knew his supporters could become violent because it happened before. He cited when extremists plotted to kidnap the governor of Michigan. When responding to extremist plots in Michigan, Trump showed he knew how to use the power of a mob to advance his political objectives. And they cited other past instances in which Trump encouraged or tolerated violence, including the deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville. Jews will not replace us! Also had people that were very fine people on both sides. Wrapping up their arguments four hours short of their allotted time, House managers believe they delivered a compelling argument they hope should end with a conviction. But have they changed the minds of those 44 Republicans who continue to insist the impeachment proceedings are unconstitutional? I'm hopeful it will change minds. It's hard to look at that and not see the gravity of what happened. But many Republicans, like Tim Scott of South Carolina, still are not convinced. Nothing has been so compelling that it's changed a mind from my perspective. In his summation, lead impeachment manager Raskin said there was no reason to believe that Trump would not promote violence again if he ever regained an office of power. Would you bet the lives of more police officers on that? Would you bet the safety of your family on that? Would you bet the future of your democracy on that? Now, to give you some idea of the likelihood of Republicans going along with the necessary votes to convict the former president, more than a dozen of them failed to show up today for the House uh, manager's closing arguments. And uh, tomorrow, of course, the president's uh, legal team, they present their arguments, basically, that Trump did not incite that riot. As for the 45th president himself, he wasn't even watching today. He was out playing golf. I'm Marvin Scott, Pix 11 News.